angular frequency. Let the equation of the wave is given as x t is equal to a cosine omega t. And let this is our equation number one. Let t be the time period when cosine function returns to the same position. Or in other words, we can say that let us consider t as the periodicity of a cosine function, which simply means that there is only one way the cosine function can return to its same position if t is the periodicity of that cosine function. And if that is the case, we can write x of t is equal to a cosine omega inside the bracket t plus capital T. And let this is our equation number two. As we know, the cosine function repeats itself after an interval of 2 pi radian because 2 pi radian is the periodicity of cosine function, then we can definitely write omega t plus capital T is equal to omega t plus 2 pi. If we simplify, we will distribute omega inside the bracket and we will write omega t which is over here plus omega times capital T which is over here is equal to omega t plus 2 pi which is over here. Now, as we can see this omega t can be cancel out and if we cancel out omega t from both sides, we will have omega capital T is equal to 2 pi. Now what we need to do, we need to find the value of angular frequency. So we need to take this t to the other side and only way we can do if we divide both sides by t and if we do that we will write omega is equal to 2 pi over t and this is the angular frequency of the wave. The SI unit of angular frequency is radian per second and this is how we define the angular frequency of any given wave.